So, welcome to this meeting, Professor Reinhard Gensel. So, my name is Julia Ravanis. I wonder what made you so interested in black holes? What do you find fascinating about space? Why uh, did you chose to be a physicist and uh, or an astronomer? Uh, I have a heritage in the sense that uh, my father was a physicist. Actually, my first in inclination was to study archaeology. Mm -hmm. um, That's so when a totally I was, different subject. When I, no, no, no. I would say archaeology is very similar to astronomy because so? both are about evolution, right? You basically, in archaeology, you, you, mm. you, know, you dig up a, a, an old city in order to understand how that hill, how that uh, city evolved. When, it, when did it start? What was the, the seed city? Yeah, the same kind of, yeah. uh, same side kind of That's question. That's true, you're studying um, objects that are distant in time. Right? Yes, absolutely. So it's it's actually very, very much uh, related. Um, uh, but then I found, in, in the end, I found the physics. Astronomy was not very popular in Germany in the 60s, I among mean, societies. Uh, opened up this new institute for radio astronomy and I, I thought that might be quite interesting. When I was a child, I was, I loved watching the stars. Like I was very fascinated. I thought that stars were amongst the beautiful, most beautiful things in the world. Then, like as a more of a grown up, I, uh, I realized that I probably was more interested in the parts of space that we cannot see. So I wonder, are you also drawn to that? And why do you think people are drawn to invisible objects like black hole and to the unknown parts of the universe? Well, okay, it really depends on, on your motivation, I should say, okay? I mean, there are obviously people who um, come very much from a philosophy or theoretical physics uh, side, which is what you do. I'm in that sense really an experimentalist, I really tend to uh, think about and with my group and my my team, go for things where I really feel we can make progress with new instrumentation, okay? Yeah, um, we do need better and better measurements. <laughs> but as a last question now, what do you feel is so fulfilling about making those measurements? What is fulfill fulfilling for you? It's just exciting to do research, I have to say. I mean, I could imagine myself doing other types of research, but I find the, the general process of exploring and, and then understanding just absolutely fantastic. And uh, that feeling I, when you're getting closer to another. Yeah, you feel you're getting closer, you... and and you, if you if you go home, so to speak, at the in the evening and say, "Hey, today I've understood something," which in the morning I didn't. That, that's fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> I agree. I think that's why we all do research. <laughs> it was amazing to talk to you, Reinhard Gensel. Okay, thank you, Julian. Thank you. <laughs>